It's, it's time, time to spring, spring into something, something delicious with HelloFresh. Hello Every week you get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and recipes delivered right to your door. Get 16 free meals plus three gifts with code unfiltered16 at hellofresh.com slash unfiltered16. Thank you, HelloFresh. We need to get rid of that fucking um, coasters. I know, but then I feel like we're going to damage the table. <laughs> Have <laughs> the, you seen them recently? The table's fucking done already. That's one of my most annoying things. Like I cannot believe. In, in just like um, life is the need to have coasters. You know? Yeah. Like, it's smart on the person who was like, we should have a little surface, but like, it's just so annoying. Oh, you need a coaster. They should make every table where it- Unless it's got some sort of coating. Safe cup. Very good. It should be like a plastic bottom. Coaster-free cups. Cremota. Get them. Write that down. Wait, then why don't they do that? Beats the hell out of me. Because I guess it wouldn't look as good. Well, I mean, technically, even if it had like a bottom that was safe, the condensation is just going to roll right over the rubberized. Uh, well, then, it would have to be uh, like a saucer. Yes. The cups know? need to be better then. Were you a coaster kind of family? Were you like, oh, got to uh, have the coaster? Hell no. No. There's no. rings all up on our fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> More rings than the fucking. And it exists. All right. There goes that. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. That's. That's smart. Look okay. at that cup right there. That's a lot more creative than I thought. Oh, wow. wow. That's beautiful. Isn't that still like a cup though? Like the, the same like material? Wow, that's stunning. Yeah, it's gorgeous, but isn't well, that the same material? The thing is, it's the liquid gonna be, isn't, isn't in the handle. So this isn't gonna get Oh, that's wet. nice. It's a condensation right under the- mm. Can we normalize that? Yeah. Can we normalize? Do, oh, that coffee mug, go down. We should do Go a tour. Up. We should do a tour that, with that mug. We bring that mug everywhere. That's nice. That has What's coast. special about that? There's a, it's a coaster on the bottom. Yeah, but it doesn't hit like the other one. The other one's very. Um, I'm, tr I'm trying to give every cup a chance. It just looks dystopian to me. You know. Hand me that yeah, coaster. Throw him that sauce. It's though. it's giving it's giving Hunger Games uh villain. You know. Ring toss. Mean? Good catch. Thank you, Jared. Hot. Put that in. <laughs> Hunger Hunger Games. If you were in the Hunger Games, do you think you'd you'd win? Yeah. 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 Because I wouldn't be the one fighting. I'd be the one hiding. I would have Dane, just, they're just going to really send good... animals for you. Uh, well, are we basing off the first movie or the, the second movie? Because they were completely different movies. The second movie, they had animals and shit and like crazy. Um, I think they would rain fire on you. Well, if we're going by the first movie, which I think is more realistic. I just going think high. it's fucked up that there's not even like an age limit. You know, like they, they, 12, they, they're out right? there. Is it 12 little th yeah. primrose? Oh, no. I, I think it's younger than that. I think it's any. They had little, no, I think they it, had I little think Rue was, out there, was, Heath. Yeah, but she was like 13 or 14. No, she was like nine. How yeah. do you? How? Only children 12 to 18. Well, that primrose no. looked like she was there seven. Was, there was an older lady on the in the games. No, the but that, that she was a champion. The TikTok, TikTok, that lady. <laughs> the there's a TikToker on the? You, yeah, the one who was like TikTok cuz she realized the whole thing was a clock. Yeah, she's she's older. She was the but older that one. was the champions cuz they brought back everybody who had right. won the Hunger Games to come back. Oh and yeah, and they were they were very frustrated about special that. Special game. Do you know who like that, that 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 woman is though? Her dad is uh the dad from Sound of Music. How do you know how do you know that? Christopher Christopher Plummer's daughter. But how do you know that's Christopher Christopher Plummer's Cuz I daughter? googled it. So you googled her and, and then, then I realized about her. she was Christopher Plummer's daughter. So you're you're one of those people that like IMDb everybody after you watch a movie. Hunger Game fun Cuz I'm I'm really bad with that. I fucking I look Speaking up Speaking of hunger. Everybody in a movie or show that I'm watching and I just I do, do so much so much research. I don't know why. Hunger. Games. It's because right you now. like it. You yeah. like to like fully indulge. I don't know. Yeah, it's just, it's just you know I'm quirky. Well, like usually that. I see somebody. I go. I remember them from something. Where are they from? And then I read their Wikipedia. And then usually you know. I That's true. do the intro. <laughs> okay, was Here that a good go. intro for you? That was perfect. I think all we right. should delete all that. <laughs> Stupid. It's comfort zone, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's how I die in the Hunger Games, like this. No, I, I, die, I die like this. I die oh, like this. sexy with it. So they'd be performing for the audience. Oh, yeah, I would. In. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'd, I'd make it a reality TV show. They'd have a confessional camera for me and everything. That's going to be, be the worst if your friend did, like, got drawn for the Hunger Games and you, you knew they weren't going to win. Oh, yeah. They're and just, you, like, not quite. And you had to be just... Good luck this. out there. Exactly. Well, welcome back to Zane Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And we're Unfiltered. Hope you're having a wonderful Monday and Tuesday morning or whenever the hell you are watching this episode or listening to this episode. I got something I just saw real quick. I just have to share because I, I got chills watching it. And I think it's one of the craziest things I've ever seen. It's scary, but it's also uplifting. And so it is. It, it, <laughs> 
<laughs> what is it? There was a flight coming from the Bahamas to Florida. That's scary. Terrifying. Just yeah. now. It happened today? I don't know if it was today or just very recently, um, but it was coming from the Bahamas to Florida, and it was one of those small Cessnas. It was a pilot and one passenger, and for some reason, the pilot just went incoherent, like just completely just not there. I don't know if it was like a heart attack. Something happened while he was flying and he was getting close to Florida to land. Only one one pilot. Because one it was pilot. a Cessna, because it yeah, was they're that small. small. That's yeah, weird okay. how like, oh, the bigger the strange. plane is, you got to, you have to have two pilots, right. but the smaller the plane. You should always have I a I thought there's pilot. always two pilots on every plane yeah, like You can fly solo. Yeah. Wow, scary, um, go ahead. But basically, pilot went incoherent, so the guy put like the headset on and called the air traffic controller and was like, my pilot is unresponsive. I don't know what to do. Who called? A random person? No, the, the, the person passenger. on the plane. Oh, sorry. And was like, I don't know what to do right now. Like, my pilot isn't like here. Like, he's like incoherent. I would have a meltdown. And imagine, he's like, I, imagine being I, I don't know what to do. And he was really calm about it, though. And air traffic control was like, uh, where are you? And he was like, I have no idea. <laughs> the sky, <sighs> look up. I have no idea. He's like, I think I see the coast of Florida coming up. I'm getting close. <gasps> How do you know that? Well, because well, you're, you're flying from, from the Bahamas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. It's from the Bahamas of Florida. Yeah, yeah. Um, so basically, he's just in control of this plane now. And he's like, how do I land this thing? What? So they're on the radio with him. And they're like, okay, as soon as you get to the coast, keep it at 5,000 feet. Oh, I don't just, know. Just listen and follow my lead. Oh, my. So he's now flying this plane. And he's like, I got no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> and then he's getting close. And they literally the, coach so the, him through it. The guy that was the air traffic controller ended up. He was also a flight instructor. So he was able to give him directions on how to bring this plane down. Oh, my gosh. And it looked it was smoother than landings that I've had on planes. Wait, and like, there's footage of this plane landing footage of the plane coming down. Land it's beautiful. What does the guy look like that? that wait, wait, it? hold on. Why don't I? Why don't I believe this? This, this, That's like, there's no fucking way. How can a random person that has never fucking touched? He's been un he's unidentified. Like they have not really identified him. Baby, because. He's it's a fake story. <laughs> Come on, you see all these. Fake I mean, but if, if it was you, fake, you would want to be like a hero, and you would want your name to yeah. be out there. After that, I'd be like, I'm going to get my pilot license. No, like if yeah, I, me too. Oh. He knew that. He knew that, and that's why he couldn't put his name yet. He's gonna, he's gonna release. Well, his, the his the pilot later. is in the hospital and was rushed to the hospital, so I don't know what. Wait, really after happened. it landed perfectly the pilot was something happened to him i don't know I don't believe all right well you, it, then we have the article right here zane and yeah, you don't i don't know it. i just yeah oh no there's something not saying right with not me not only did he like land the plane but he kept, like how do you keep it i don't cool in he that situation? sounded so calm it and was collected. literally fight or flight yeah. Oh, well, like our plane was it a really new Cessna? I bet like so kind of planes are I down in mm -hmm. a way. Planes much must be much easier to fly than we think. Then was if it? A random person can get on there and just fucking. Is well, there a video? It. Yeah, there's uh, Jordan. Pull up the video of him landing. I wonder it. if they were like, do you see the red button? Like, ha like oh, oh. Or no, he probably FaceTime. Um, FaceTime. They were yeah, able to. Yeah, right, right, I mean, right. all you got to do is like listen. He tells you how to like. Come you, in like you see what, that big lever thingy, right? Pull that what speed to go to, yeah. and then it'll be like flaps up, down, whatever you got to do. But that's gonna be crazy looking at a plane and you're talking to someone and you know, yes, they go, What model is it? Cessna 350. Okay, and then you, they're pulling got up it. the cockpit right. and they go, yeah. Okay, yeah, pull that lever to the Imagine right. The pressure. Hell no. Oh that's my him? god, yeah, that's him landing it. Oh, that's smooth look at that. Butter. Oh my, oh, wow. Wow. Well, you know what? That. It bounced a bit, but that was yeah. great. Dude, he's getting laid tonight. Ah! Like, <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> you, you, wow. Mile high class. My testosterone would be through the <laughs> yeah. roof after it's doing like, It's like skydiving. You yeah. fucking land, you're like, I can do anything. What, what airport? Um, it was I a private it one? Was, it was in Florida. I don't know what area. It had to be close to you guys because it yeah. feels like. All right, let's do a meet and greet with this guy. But Bring that's him crazy. on. I would love to have him on just for a segment. Does he get I any think it was money? Like, yeah. even if I'm about to say, does he get any pussy? Even, well, even if you landed it, you survived, you made it happen. He's do you still get something. like some, like, oh, I'm still pretty. The, the key pretty to the city. I yeah. mean, it, he did like, what's the human thing to do is he, he saved a life. <laughs> How often are they giving out keys to the city? <laughs> I didn't, is that a real thing? <laughs> yes. Well, like it's not a real, like it's in my symbolism. head when I was a kid. Is that I how big thought, it is? 
It, yeah, it's a big key to the city. But when you get it, I thought that meant like you can unlock everything. Every, yeah, I thought the same thing. <laughs> One universal key to every store. But are they giving out a key to the city like once a month? But what exactly does that mean? It's just like the city honors you as like uh, a notable resident and you did something heroic. I mean, I guess that's the same. I mean, I think because it's in the air, it's much more scary to us, but it's like someone saving somebody from a burning car or like a, someone saving somebody from a, you know, I, like when you compare- Oh, I don't know, like a- when you, No, when you compare, it's, it's still like, like he saved one man. It's like saving right. a man in any other situation. So I don't think he would get a key to the city or like oh, something. Oh yeah, for that, absolutely. Yeah, not. but if it was a fucking commercial plane with 300 people they, in there, they then, should at yeah, least give him like wings. Fucking, like Sully, yeah. you know, like, the little, like, <laughs> like the little pin. Like Captain Sully got probably got the key to the city. Who the hell is Captain Sully? One, he was the guy who landed in the Hudson Bay. Bay. The Hudson oh. River. <laughs> He saved all those passengers. Oh, like, well, that's the guy from Monsters Inc. Captain, <laughs> <laughs> Captain yeah, Captain Sully. Sully. He was the guy. Who, oh. they oh. took off out of LaGuardia. I'm pretty sure, or, and uh, a bunch yes. of geese. They ran into the geese. I do remember. Wait, I this. thought it was Tom Hanks. That they all survived. Tom right? Hanks played the damn role in the movie. Oh, God. they all survived, right? Yes, yeah. everybody they did. Them. That's amazing. Wow. Except for Tom Hanks, but he's now like Sully's on the like Sully's like appointed uh, by the White House. Like he's, he's has like a, a big political position now. Big name, big name. I think I'm getting confused with another move, another like plane movie. But didn't he like get shit in the end? Like he got like in trouble in some way. Are you or thinking was of the movie Flight, Flight. with Denzel Washington? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's Flight. <laughs> And that was the one where he landed the plane upside down. That was that was crazy. Can you imagine being drunk going? Zane uh, would believe that over this. I would believe that after this. What a good movie, though. That I is know. a great movie. Wow. I, I, but he was drunk flying the plane. And he's like, I'm drunk. Right. I'm an alcoholic, and I'm drunk right now. Doesn't he say yeah. that in like? That the, was a powerful movie. That I really remember, moved me. Like watching him look at the alcohol, and you're like rooting for. Come on, don't do it, don't do it. And then you like see him like. Debating, yeah. Uh, Zane and I were watching Breaking Bad last <laughs> night. In that heroin scene, we were like, "Yeah, mm. it's it's such a." Speaking of flying, you went and saw the Top Gun premiere. <gasps> yes, I did. Yeah, I'm wearing the hoodie right now, guys. I'm a big fan. Such a big fan. I didn't watch the first one. <laughs> you, you never Can saw you the believe? First I've one? never seen the first did, Top Gun oh, wow. movie. But having now seen it, do you did you feel like you needed to see the first one? Honestly, I don't. I don't like now. I want to watch it because it was such a good movie. But I. Feel like you didn't need to watch the first one. You still, it was still very emotional, and I, I still kind of cried watching it. And you guys were on like a battleship. Yeah. So they, it, it was crazy. They took like really good care of us. They, um, they got us on like a jet, like a like a jet suite plane, and they like, um, they wrapped the whole plane in Top Gun Sick. Maverick oh. banner. Just with like the way everything looked, you could tell that like Tom Cruise came up with all like this oh, idea. Really? He was. I feel like he can, well. A girl actually there told me that it was his idea to do the battleship, like the premiere on the battle or the red carpet premiere on the battleship. Okay. So seeing that it hit me that like, oh, everything was kind of like, probably like he, he probably talked to the team. Like I want to, this to look as cool as possible for all these celebrities or influencers or whatever that are going to the premiere. But yeah, they flew us out on this jet and then we landed, went straight to the hotel, got dressed and went to the premiere and it was on like a battleship. It was sick. Was Tom and Cruise flying the helicopter? Did he land it on the- I don't His know. His pilot passed out also. Yeah. <laughs> so he, Well, Tom Cruise has a license for like every type of- He looks vehicle. great. I think, so someone told me that he does have a license to fly the helicopter, but a part of me feels like just for safety. Oh, you see, there's a pilot right there. Just flying the helicopter. Wow. But yeah, it was, it, I mean, it was, he came in Tom Cruise fashion. Like everybody was on the It carpet is pretty badass. And just That's seeing cool. the helicopter fly all around and then landing there and he got out by himself. It was really sick. I wish they would have kept it like 20 feet above the ground and he had to like rappel down. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or he's yeah. on the ladder. Yeah, Did, something. David thought that he was going to parachute into the uh, oh, premiere, like on a parachute. Really? But I was like, there's no way because the battleship isn't that big. Yeah. Where if he misses, he could seriously fucking injure himself. On one of the fucking um, battleships are insane. Yeah, I can't believe it. That's the one thing. Like, but then you see like a war movie, and like one goes down, you're fucked. Like that's like <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. But yeah. but seeing him in person was so insane. He just he's just not real. Like even seeing him with my own eyes, it just didn't seem real to me. Like like Tom Cruise. If somebody says name a celebrity, you say Tom Cruise. Yeah, like he is. The, the celebrity. Yeah. Is he, he is like the Hollywood action packed celebrity. How tall is he? Short. He's pretty short. Five, six, He's I shorter think. than me. Wow. Jennifer Conley looking great. Miles Teller. But it was so it was so insane to me because we're all like we're all on like the bleachers kind of like watching the red carpet. And you know, Miles Teller is there, uh Jen Connolly, like big fucking actresses and actors. And 
I didn't look at them once. I just kept staring Tom. at Tom Cruise. <laughs> wow. I couldn't get my eyes off him. I was just like, this is Tom Cruise. Because you want to see him, how he interacts with people and like, yeah. how, but like, I feel like he's just been doing it for so long. He is the sweetest on the carpet. He was so nice to everybody. He was having full <laughs> conversations with every single person. How did that idea of like an aircraft carrier battleship come about? Like imagine that, like, we need to be able to land. And Let's put a runway and take off and land on a boat. Because oh. everything is so far, you know? And those planes like are that, probably eating up fuel. That is crazy to me. It's crazy they have enough, like, power to take well, they, off they on that one thing. Well, they slingshot them. Oh, yeah, that's right. They slingshot them. Oh, yeah, isn't there, like, a thing There's, that like, they the, the cables things that are attached to it, and then they, like strap it in or whatever, and then they shoot it off the end. And then when they land, they have to catch it with yeah. like this net. It's insane. That That's is so crazy. People are amazing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look at that runway. It's a that's, fucking runway. That's on crazy. The, how is that floating in yeah. the middle of the ocean? That is made out of concrete. Don't even get me started with like bridges and shit. Like, cr like cruises and shit. How the fuck does it stay up there? Uh, it makes no, no sense. Yeah, me. bridges. Do they... They go all the way down to the bottom? No way. They got to be floating. Yeah, there, there's got to be a big cement cylinder. Like, what what so kind of like, bridges are we talking like about? Like the, the bridge that connects the Florida Keys. Yes. What is it, eight miles long? That doesn't yeah. go to the bottom of the ocean. It there's long, no I, way. I bet it took them a long time there's to no build way. it. There's no way. Oh, yeah. How the hell goes to the where bottom? Does it, where does it go? Like, where's the stop? Yeah, I'm sick thinking about this. I'm sick. I'm sick. No. Well, they... they they, it's Get a ahead, process. How? I really, he, I never That's thought not, about that. I've never thought about like where the hell, like where's right? the floor? Like what, what is it? What is it? And made then out when of? they get there, they got to drill down into the ocean floor. No, How I, far? I think it's a, like a buoy system, but instead of like, the buoy, it's like a cement cylinder at the bottom that just floats. Well, yeah, it's like how a, do you get cement to dry? Well, yeah. no, I think that, <laughs> well, no, it's like if you had a cup like <laughs> in, in, in a bathtub, like a cup of the empty bottom, you put it in and then you drain all the water out and right. then now it's hollow and then you build it and then you take it off. Got it. You know? Yeah. Okay. Like that kind of makes sense. They do that. They get, but like, it's the water so cup. big. It's like, it's like the pyramids. How? One slip, because you know when you put a cup underwater and then you do this and then it just fills up? Yeah. They have to be so careful with whatever the hell they're putting down there. I don't think they're putting a big cup. No, <laughs> not a bit, not a cup. I'm just saying a something where it Re has air yeah. in the. Y'all, there, yeah. Y'all, <laughs> shit. People, people. They are got trains underwater. They take you from Brooklyn to Manhattan. Or, that or goes the fucking, underwater. those stations that they have underwater. The fucking yeah. big. How do you how do you tunnel? How do you tunnel underwater? Where do you begin? How do you start? Do you do you drain the water? I think they know they build it on top of the do sea floor. Do you build a dam on the side? This hurts my Stop head. the water. I don't know. Hank Green made a TikTok and I saw it one time. And we never see them being built. They're just they've just been there. Mm. Oh man. That's why we're living in assimilation. That's right. In assimilation. Assimilation. Yeah. Assimilation. That's, uh, is that underwater? The fish? <laughs> no, right there. That fucking subway. Underwater subway tunnel. That makes what? How? How? Look up New York City L train underwater. This is horseshit. You, I saw this TikTok today of somebody just showing like the woods. <laughs> it was like. We made Wi-Fi out of this. Yeah. Like, we made we made fucking underwater subways out of the forest. God bless out the people that dirt. do that. There's some smart people out there. Not you me. Think, you think we'll ever invent something? Like, I, I actually came up with a pretty good. I just want to invent like a scrub daddy. Something simple. So simple. Yeah. For every house, easy product, sell We're, it. That's an invention I feel like you'd come up with, like a scrub daddy. Thank you. You mean that? I, I, I'm not an engineer. I'm not going to like... Shake shit up. I like did come that. up with a good idea on my way. Uh, on my way for an here. invention. Mm -hmm. What is it? Well, I'm not gonna say it here. Oh, you think? And it's I, that, I, oh, I, it's I, that I, I need you guys to sign an NDA before. It's oh, right. okay. Yeah, I think it's like a serious, a serious. Hit. No, no. Like, look, trust me, it's a good idea. It's a snack it saver. And if it's stupid, then we'll talk about it. There's nothing worse than like a friend who like tells you an idea they think is amazing, and you have to be like, that's not that good. I, I don't. Oh. If, if, it, if if an idea sucked, I would want to know. Oh. I would hate if you lied to me because then I'm like wasting all this time. Yeah, that is true. I love brainstorming for things that need to be invented, but I've lost my love for it because this guy on TikTok, all he does is silly yep. inventions, but they're real stuff they're that so doesn't good. exist. But his whole page is inventions. I'm like, you know what? I give up. Did you? Did you see? Because he makes the product. Yeah. 
Did I you, like that guy. Did you see the fucking the grass flip flops? That's yeah. how, did you see no, like, what is our, it? our friend Greg posted? He posted a story. He's like, it feels like grass for people that like to step. That on the grass. is crazy. That, That's horrible. That is scrub daddy material. I would hate well, to have that on the bottom. How long does the grass the last? I would imagine no, they a fake, week. They fake no, it's ones. no, it's like it's probably it's grass synthetic. like um like fucking. I fucking hate walking on astroturf. Uh, I know. Look at that. That looks horrible. Look at that. He looks like he's having a... People who buy those are just trying to be it's quirky. A, yeah. yeah, they're good gag gifts, yeah. but they sell. They suck. Taco taco slippers. Get that. <laughs> Look at that one. Lobster. Oh, the lobster's funny. That's good for that vacation. Was, wait, go back. That was Dolce & Gabbana grass slippers. They already made these? $346. Oh, my God. To step on grass. It's kind of beautiful, though. That is kind of... that. You know what? That looks pretty. It's... <laughs> no, well... What was that movie with like the the cult? That's what it reminds me of. Oh, Midsummer. Midsummer. Yeah. You know how like Vice News they'll like go into like they'll be a part of something or a part of something fucked up for like just to get a right. story. I would love to be a part of like some sort of cult. Oh, just to get that story. Oh yeah, that'd be so interesting. I know, but the thing is, do you think you would join the cult and everyone's like Zayn Hajazi? No, no, I you can't get you can't like something. You, you have like to that. go away for a while. You'd have to delete all your social media. Like we wouldn't see you yeah, for a while. You're right. How many That's cults? You know, what I was thinking about the other day assassins. How many like? <laughs> oh, I think you know, I think about that all the time. How many world global high profile assassins are there? Not like, as much like, as we think. I feel like like. 20? Like in movies, they make it seem like they're everywhere, but like I feel like, like they're very, very rare. Like I was watching like Gross Point Blank with like John Cusack, yeah. and he was like this like cool and assassin, or like mid, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Like, like 007 type shit. Can yeah, we, you don't see him a, around. For the people who don't know, uh, can we get a clear definition for assassin? Do you not know it's, what it's it is? A, it's like a high, like a- uh, you, Someone pays you a lot to go kill somebody. Oh, a hitman. Yeah, yeah, it's like a hitman, but right. yeah, yeah, it's a hitman. But assassins like can get hired to like go kill some like like the politician High, uh, of like some corrupt country. Yeah, and they get paid millions of dollars, and they'll get paid by the government. So it's like a legal job that they're doing, which is kind of. Uh, I wouldn't say legal, but how many people are getting assassinated? I mean, I if, the like we if the government is approving it, and the government who's who makes the laws, it's like a legal fucked up. It's it's fucked up. It's definitely like wrong, but it's legal because the government's allowing it. I feel like Navy SEALs are technically assassins. Well, that you are on like a government like approved mission. Like somebody isn't just paying you out of pocket. Yeah, to, shit that nobody knows about. Like Yeah, and you're at war, you're at war too, you know? It's like you'd hmm. have so do you think like I don't know, like what is like the base salary for like an assassin to kill somebody? Like it has to be at least I think a million. 200, oh, I was gonna say between two, like starting a price. A hitman, like a hit job. Two hundred and fifty to five hundred for like five grand. Five, I know. Well, like for like for like cartel shit, maybe like five grand, ten grand. But watching watching those things that you watch, all those like murder mystery stuff, and you see videos of people caught on camera, basically like trying to how, pay. All right, five thousand, and you'll take them out. Yeah. And they're like, "How do you want me to do it?" And they're like going along with it to like catch the person. Can you imagine killing That's, someone for five thousand dollars? Five grand is a lot of money. Not worth it. No, to, <laughs> to risk your life. Not when depending you gotta, on how you like if if you have no money and you're fucking. Oh, well, I'm not. Not when they got a million dollar life insurance that you're trying to cash. <laughs> yep. I don't know. Some people that, hey, like that's, that's going to change your life. But like if the money doesn't get exchanged, I'm just so curious how far you could get just to be like, how much? <laughs> just to see how much somebody would do it for them. Be yeah. like, oh, wait, never mind. I was just curious to see if you'd do it. <laughs> just to but, try to lowball but then somebody. When I, I walk out and then all of a sudden I get swarmed with cop cars and then. I'm done because I was just curious. How much? How much was um the whole Versace the no, Gucci the Gucci story? You know Versace? Was, no Gucci. Uh, the Gucci. Gucci. The, uh, House the, of Gucci. Murder. House of Gucci movie. Remember uh, the? I don't. I don't really know anything. They about said the it in the movie. They said it in the movie, was. but I forget what it was. I think it was like a million. Like no. One, no, no, no. It was cheap. It was cheaper than that? It was really cheap. Not oh, really cheap. 280,000 pounds, which is means it's probably like $400,000. No, no, no. That, that was what she was blackmailed for. Oh. It was the 80s. It was a different time. Have you seen that? Have song? you seen that that TikTok audio about like the sixties? Like it was the sixties, the late sixties, and everybody oh, was happy. No, like, no. Oh, I that, that says found guilty. Thing. Oh, the liar equivalent of four hundred and fifteen. Four hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. That's a lot of fucking money. What does the liar equivalent mean? Lear? What does that say? A lear. Oh, so oh, oh, oh. That, I see. That's yeah, yeah. what the um, Italian currency yeah. was back then before the euro. Wow, 415. Wow, that was a lot. Gosh, I could never imagine hating somebody that much where you like, 
I need them dead. And it was so fucked up because she wasn't even like, she she married into the family and like she knew exactly what she wanted from the start. And uh -huh. then you're gonna kill the love of your life just so you could take over Gucci. Whoo, I couldn't even deal with that. Like imagine the Christmas parties after. You're sitting there, <laughs> the family's all around. Years later, it would haunt me. The back of my head. No I way. couldn't enjoy my life knowing that uh -uh. I paid. Yeah, she didn't care though. Uh -uh. I, just, I keep thinking it's a Lady Gaga. Like I'm talking about <laughs> Lady Gaga. Like, yeah, fucking bitch. But yeah, wow. Heath, you called me yesterday because, um, or I, you called me the other day because. Uh, but I call you 50 times a day. You called me yesterday like, and you told me if uh, I hit you up at all. That day, I was like, no, I didn't hit you up. And you said, because. Oh, yeah, that was, first of all, that was really embarrassing. You lost your phone the entire day, but Dude, you didn't want to tell me. Until it was, right now. it was the most. What happened? I felt so disconnected from the world. So basically, what happened was I woke up in the morning, grabbed my phone, took it off the charger, and I went to like check my stuff. It was Mother's Day. So I was getting ready and I was going to send my mom a text, call her, whatever. <clears throat> and I opened up my phone and it froze on me. I'm like, oh, shit. So. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and then it like fixes, and then I go to touch something again, and it freezes, and it kept doing the black loading uh, symbol. Okay. Every mm. time. So then I waited like five minutes, it kicked back on, I swiped to open it up, and then it froze again, back to the loading, and then all of a sudden it just went to the Apple logo, and it was stuck. Oh, weird. You know what? I felt like my phone was doing that the other day too. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like out of nowhere, I just woke up and it wasn't working, and I had to leave. And then I realized, I was like, oh my God, I have no idea where I'm going. Oh. I couldn't go on maps. I couldn't Google the address to like look it up. And I was like running late. So I'm like, oh shit. So I'm like freaking out. I was like, how do I, how do I live right now? What do I do? <laughs> so I called Jordan. I was like, get in the car. We got to go. <laughs> and he's like, what's going on? I was like, my phone, it just doesn't work. So then he drives me. We go real quick to the, uh, the gym, whatever, get out. And I'm like, all right, I need to fix my phone. And it's still on the Apple screen the entire time I was at Did the gym. Did you drop your phone or anything no, happened? To nothing this, happened. This happens to mine every time a new phone comes out. I they, swear. Yeah, that means you got to buy the new phone, baby. Yeah, so this entire want. time, I'm freaking out because I need to call my mom. I got to say happy Mother's Day. She's probably thinking that I'm dead because if I don't text her first thing in the morning, she <laughs> like is a, a nervous wreck. So waiting, waiting, waiting. And it's still the Apple screen. So we go to the Apple store. Wait in line. You have to make an appointment. And then they're like, we'll get you a table. It, it feels like a restaurant. It's the weirdest setup I've ever seen. But then finally, like 20 minutes later, I get the appointment and the guy comes up to me. He's like, what's going on? And I showed him my phone and uh, it ended up at that point getting off the Apple logo and it was showing my home screen. Okay. Like, like the lock screen. So I'm like, every time I open my phone and I did it and then it did the same thing and it went back to locked. And I was like, damn, I was like, every time I, I, I try to use my phone, it just freaks out and it just is stuck. I tried resetting it. I tried everything. And he was like, yeah, that happens. And I was like, what do you mean that happens? He's like, so, so what happens is basically if you have so much stuff on your phone, if you fill the storage, it doesn't know what to do and it bogs down and it literally bricks your phone. And I was like, okay, so what, like, what are my options here? How do I like resolve this? He's like, oh, you got to delete stuff off of it. I was like, how? I can't, I can't do anything. I can't open it. And he was like, the only, the only thing you can do is just to wipe the entire phone and start over. I was like, dude, I can't do that. But you've been, you backed it up though, right? I don't use backups. I don't, I don't do anything with iCloud. I don't do anything. Oh, oh my God. I pay, sucks. I mean, I pay like a couple so you, of dollars a month just for the, you don't have any of your shit. You don't have your, don't have your pictures. You don't have like anything saved. No. So Damn what happened? Everything, all my accounts that I'm logged into, and as I'm talking to this guy, I'm like, I need to get back into my phone. He's like, I mean, you can keep trying it, but every time the Apple logo would go away, I'd swipe up and then it'd just freeze again. So I'm freaking out. And then all of a sudden it hit me. I was like, I was like, dude, I have cryptocurrency accounts. <gasps> I was like, oh my God. I was like, I can't get into them. If I, if I can't get on this phone. And then I started really wait, don't, wait, don't you just have like a login and password? You just download the app and- No, whatever. there's the secret like- 10 word code oh, that, I, that you have saved. Oh my then you have the authenticator geez. app that you have to verify those numbers that so pop your up. your notes aren't even backed up on your iCloud. I don't have anything. Heath. I understand. But as this is all going on, I'm having a fucking meltdown. I was like, I need to get into this phone. And then he's like, yeah, the only thing you could do is just wipe it and start over. And Jesus. he was just so like, if this was happening to somebody and it was a customer, I'd just be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I know this is, this is really That's frustrating. That's how often it happens. It, it, happens, it happens. He, to he probably everybody. gets like eight, eight people a day. And I was like, there's, there's no that. like buffer, like a five gig buffer that it just will not fill up. So your phone doesn't do this. Yeah. 
like this. You know why they do that? So next time you buy the iCloud. And I am so fucking mad. And you know what I had to do? I've never been so mad at a store and never wanted to like hear of the word again and then spent $1,500. Five minutes later, so I had to buy a new phone. So you still have your old, you still have your, uh, I still have my old phone. It's still locked, but so it's not turning on. It's it's still on that same thing. If I if I go to open it, it freezes. <laughs> oh my god! So you're just you're so. Just luckily, I was able to get the uh, the new phone. You know how you can like be side by side with it to, yeah. to get it to do the sync. Yeah, I was able to get it to sync. You have to like open it. I got it open for a second to uh, scan the uh, the little icon. So then yeah. it started transferring and I could just let it sit there. But it took it like three times trying to do this. Like it got all the way like sinking. And then it was like, you have to reset it. It like, it like loses connection. Yes. So it was no joke, like a 12 hour process of me freaking out, like because it, it kept failing. And then finally one time it just worked. <sighs> Geez, so you have everything? I'm good now. Heath, that I was. Have mercy. <laughs> and now you're backing it up you, on the what iCloud. What are you going to do now? I don't know. Back it up on the iCloud. You have to back up your shit. I know, I know, I Heath, know. Heath, because if someone, steal, like, if someone steals your phone, you're fucked. Like, you, there's no, you don't. That's, you're lucky that, like, that happened and you still had your phone yeah, on Yeah, exactly. You. If it got stolen or if you genuinely lost it. You would be fucked. because I feel I like know, that would I know. happen. I like to live on the edge. I'm risky. <laughs> no, um, but I realized how dependent I am on my phone. I was completely lost without it. I think this was more important story. Uh, important like thing about iCloud. <laughs> this is a yeah important you, message about having an iCloud <laughs> backup. Yeah, you, and then they make you pay however much a month, and then it says storage is full every day. Dude, that's why I feel so you pay like three or four dollars for a terabyte. No, right? I yeah, I mean, I I, I, I think, think I pay I'd like ten dollars. Yeah, I pay ten dollars a month. For yeah, it. it's something just like that. Because I don't even want to worry about it. Like I know if like my phone gets lost or stolen, I am perfectly okay because I I, I just got a new phone and all my information. How often do you back phone. it up? How often it, you back that shit it, up? I back that shit up every day. It backs up like every time you go on Wi-Fi. Like every time you go back to your house. So when you like, if you go out and you lose your phone, that's why you don't have like the last like few messages because it, you need to go back into like serve, like Wi-Fi mm. so it like. Constantly, I, know, I just get yeah. worried about like technology hacking. Shit. I know, but like I think it's I think it's better it's it's better having uh like a safe like a safe like backup. I know, and I maybe know. being hacked than. But yeah, it was it was my a, brain's not working. Today. It was a nightmare of a Mother's Day. The thing that bothers me is I this happens to my phone literally every time a new phone comes out, my phone starts acting up. It'll mm -hmm. like the screen will go black. The loading thing will happen. And I have a new phone. This is a brand new phone and it's already starting to do it. So I know that I'm going to have to deal with buying a new one. But every time I go in and say that mine's doing the same thing, it's a different reason why. Like they told him because it's too full. I've never gotten that ever. It's always something different. <laughs> I've never heard of oh, that Oh, that's one. happening yeah. because of this. And they're so nonchalant about it because it happens all the time. Yeah. But guess what? We're still gonna spend money there because uh -huh. I'm not switching. Planned exactly. obsolescence. Is yep. that what it, is that what it is? Planned obsolescence. Let me try. They, it. They, Planned they, obsolescence. You know, I know we're talking about cults, but you know what I think is a cult? Apple. Apple. That's right. The poisonous 100%. apple. Hundred percent. You know, I don't want anything else but an apple. I, I want my computers apple. I want my phones yeah. apple. I want my headphones apple. I want everything in my life apple. But like, it's crazy though. Like, I've never been so mad at a company and then spent fifteen hundred dollars right crazy. in the middle of me being like that. They're good. I was having a day. I was just like, fuck everything. Oh. How, what what phone do you have? Like which? Um, 13 Pro now. 13 Pro. That's like the new the new one before the, the newest one that came this out, right? This is the, yeah. th I got. I just got the 13 Pro. No, 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 sorry. The uh, the phone you had before. I had the 12 Pro. That's like I not know. even that, Isn't that's that, crazy. It's like he has a 5C. It's like, like you're getting you're getting fucking punished for not immediately yeah. updating yeah. your phone. Can't you sell that back in as a trade-in with your- um, not when I can't erase the phone. I'm surprised they don't have like a system where um, if your phone is not like, there's times where your phone just doesn't turn on, just like the situation yeah. you're in. I'm surprised there's not something where they have where you plug it in to a computer and it shows up as like either a file or they a memory card to. in your phone or something. I know, but like I'm surprised they don't have it for these like new phones because this shit will break over anything. I like thought anything could happen. I thought the SIM card carried everything because I remember back in the day when we had the flip <laughs> yeah. phone. Oh yeah, you just they fucking just, pop that shit. That's just your contact. It's just numbers, and yeah. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> but you remember they would take your phone to the back in like AT and T, and then they would like plug them into each other or whatever they do and uh -huh. like sync everything. Do you think they were ever like looking through that shit? I always got worried when they take know. your phone in the back and be like, maybe I think they don't give a shit about. That's you. true. There's there's so like. 
you don't know their lives at all. Like anything you find in there is not going to make you. And they probably signed some big contracts. And you know what's so funny to me? Out of everything that I want saved when I transfer, the last thing I want is my fucking contacts. I don't give a shit about my contacts. I want everything else in my I phone, know. like my my information, my like like my logins, password, everything else on my phone is important to me except for my contacts. You know what I realized the other day? Our Alaska trip, every photo I took on that trip, I have nothing. Uh, wait, wait what? what? Every photo I took on that Alaska trip, right. I do not have. It's like literally the entire like whole trip is gone. Like I was trying to like, pull up a picture from Alaska. None. Was it an old phone? Was it yeah, older phone? I all but the thing is all of my photos leading up to that weekend, everything's there oh. and then but then Alaska is gone. All of the Alaska mm. photos are Matt, we gone. never went to Alaska. We got off the boat before we got there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, but I, I, and I don't know what that is. I don't know if maybe like I had them all and I accidentally put in my phone and deleted everything. It is the strangest thing. Mm. I, don't remember, I don't remember you taking photos though. But there were all those glaciers, like man. Stuff. There were eagles, yeah, the ball. Matt, I, you'd be surprised. I think I looked at my phone. I don't have a ton of pictures on the cruise. I guess so. Maybe I didn't take we were. I think we were really in the moment. I, don't, I, I think we were really <laughs> fucked up the whole time. Yeah. And we were also majority of the time at the casino. That's yeah, true. that is true. I don't know. It's just weird. I and no honestly, there photo. was nothing really to take pictures of. Yeah. Well, I don't know, watching the glaciers. I guess I was just taking Instagram stories. I don't know. Or you know what? You had your uh, you had your little film camera. Film camera. Maybe you were just oh, taking pictures maybe, on your camera. Yeah, maybe that's actually a really good yeah. point. Case solved. And my psoriasis was really bad, so. It was giving. Before we continue, we want to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this podcast. Life can be overwhelming, and many people are burned out without even knowing it. Symptoms can include lack of motivation, feeling helpless or trapped, detachment, fatigue, and more. We associate burnout with work, but that's not the only cause. Any of our roles in life can lead us to feel burned out, and BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to prioritize yourself. Talking with someone can help you figure out what's causing it. And if you guys don't know what BetterHelp is, BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. And the best part of all is that it's so much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. So if you guys are looking for online therapy where you don't have to go sit in a waiting office, you know, wait for somebody to come get to you, you do it it's in the comfort of your own and uncomfortable. home. Exactly. If this sounds like something you want to try out, we have a discount for you. Listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath. That's B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you, BetterHelp. We love you. For I, sure. Did everybody else have a good Mother's Day, though? Yeah, I yeah. called my mom. My mom's here. That was nice. Yeah. We got, we got to hang out. It's quality time with me and my mom. That's what's important to us. She's going to move here. Well, I know. I know. She's going to fucking, she wants to be our house mom. <gasps> she wants to live in our house and like be the house mom, like Do in it. a sorority house. Why not? Mom, we're 30. That's, that's the best <laughs> retirement job. But you know job. what? Having her be your house mom, I think is exactly what you need. Right now? Yeah. yeah. No, I think that I, that happens like when you're a little older, not right now. I, I think now is like too early for the- Keep the house up, you know, do laundry, dishes. Like would you like move that. your parents in with you guys right now? If if I no. had like a, a big property in like a guest house? No. No, no, like here. <laughs> Oh, in one of the rooms? No. Your mom is really chill, though. No, like, she you is. have a cool, yeah. comfortable, like, mom where, like, it's, you know. My mom no is up worries. my ass 24 <laughs> 7, and she lives across yeah, the country. Yeah, I know. She really gives me my space and, like, <laughs> like you know, just leaves me alone at the right times, and then we just <laughs> will be together at the right times. No, no, your mom watches Euphoria and likes oh, it. Oh, she, she likes wants, it. I'm trying to get her off the couch. She won't stop watching Euphoria. Oh, really? She loves it. She's fucking looking at cast. Like, she's making fun of all of them on That's the show. That's funny. It's really funny. She's obsessed with that show. Really? Yeah. yeah she's watched because she watch she watched season two a lot. She then, loves her shows. She loves to sit there and just fucking. But my parents binge. love television too. Yeah. Oh, on Mother's Day, my mom just retired. Whoa! Congratulations! Oh, yes. Thirty-four years. Thirty-three Some, years. At American Express, yeah. Very nice. I think it was like 30, 30, no, 37 years, maybe. I was telling him, I can't 40. believe they're not giving her like a badge of fucking honor or something like something like she did get a lot of um, perks. Like she got gifts. She got nice bags, right? A, as, nothing as, like crazy, crazy, but give her, give her a $10,000 check. Give her something. My nice. mom's She's close been, to get, uh, retiring, but like sometimes she like wishes she just would get let go and then paid for for the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. So you, then you get paid and you don't have to work. You get paid for the rest of the year if you get let go. Yeah. Right. Isn't it called like a stipend for a whole year? Sometimes like That's they feel great. bad for letting you go and downsize, but they'll pay you out for the whole year. Oh, oh, depends of, on how you. 
Like you, the reason why if it's like a, yeah, if you like, like a severance pack, severance. severance that's what I'm a stipend. I'm I know. Idiot. I didn't want. I, I knew it started with an S. Yeah. No. Yeah. You know how the last podcast we we're talking about how I fucked up the the lyrics on Carrie Underwood's song. Yeah. Uh, car car, car name, name into, into his legacy. Apparently. A lot of other people thought it was Legacy yeah. too, because all the, really? the, so many comments That's I saw funny. were like, "I thought it was Legacy too, saying That's you're not funny. alone." Because it literally sounds like Legacy when you like. Now, did they take it as just like poetic Legacy or Subaru Legacy? I didn't see the. I didn't see them. Like, I didn't see them like <laughs> describing why they thought it was Legacy. It, they just thought it was Legacy too. That's funny. But it, ha it has to because he has a legacy of cheating. It it makes sense when you really think about it. Before Whatever. he cheats. Mm. Oh. All I'm saying is that I'm not Isn't alone. Isn't she carving her name into his leather seats in the music video? Like she's literally like well, keying it and then she's I've like. I've never seen the music video. How would I know? All right. If I saw the music video, 100% I'd be like, oh, leather seats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zane needs visuals. Like yeah, they, I really do. I need visuals for I everything need pictures. in my life. That's a little crazy though. Cause then instantly he go, well, your name, you, you carved your name into <laughs> the leather it? seats. Like, yo, crazy <laughs> bitch. Y'all look what she did. Could you sue and press charges on her? Um, he could, but it's still probably, it's worth it for her. To your honor. That. She carved her name into the is leather there, seats. Is there any proof she did it? You're like, <laughs> is that a real, you think that's real? That she really, no, it's just no, a song. It's just a song about getting back at your man who cheated on I you. I could see her actually doing that. I mean, it Dixie Chicks did Goodbye Earl. They kill yeah. a man. Huh. Marianne and Wanda were the best of friends. Oh, look, she did do it. Look. What if it was a big plot twist and it was leather seats, but it also happened to be a legacy <laughs> car in the video? Carve my name into his um, oh, legacy put, leather oh, seats. I, was, I just wanted to talk about the, the fucking drunk girl. On the oh, road. I was going to say, yeah, while we were talking about cars real quick, we, yeah. have, we have a crazy story. Did we tell Matt this already? I don't think so. I hope we did it because this Do is fucking tell. nuts. So we go to Nobu Malibu for a friend's birthday. It was uh, Vince's uh, Vince's uh, wife written. No, not wife, fiance. Anymore. Fiance. Fiance <laughs> anymore. Carla, it was Carla's birthday. So we went to no Nobu Malibu <laughs> to celebrate her birthday. It was beautiful. We saw Courtney Cox there. It was a <gasps> nice is, nostalgic is moment. Did she, rec did she recognize you? No, she was like, she was. I think she, she just was, like walked by and like went to her table. Okay. Yeah. And only saying that because you went to her house on one time. Yeah. Okay. But, I, but I was saying like, David, go, go up to go up to her table. But I looked like she was on a date or something. So we didn't want. So her. I looked it up. She, her boyfriend is uh, a lead singer or something in some really big band. You look, oh, you looked him up? Well, yeah, because I was just like curious. I was like dating just to like see. You didn't if know it, if it was like a day or like. Right. I wanted to see like if it was somebody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Who she um, with? Like Counting it, Crows guy or. Oh, yeah, that's him. Oh, yeah. He was. Imagine uh, it Snow, wasn't him. Snow Patrol. Oh, Snow Patrol. Oh. Let's chase time. Yeah. Holy shit. That's. Wow. Chasing cars. I wish I, 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 wish I yes. knew that. I would have sung it really loud. I always get Snow Patrol and Arctic Monkeys confused. <laughs> it's, the, it's, it's like, like it's Snow cold Patrol name. and then like, yeah. yeah. But anyways, we finished dinner. It was amazing. <laughs> we got to go back there, by the way. I know. It's a vibe. It, it, a oh, big yeah. vibe. So we, we were leaving and we um, we're all we all valet, so we're all getting our uh, keys back. And then we see these two girls are also getting their um, keys. And then we all leave, right? Nothing looked suspicious at Let's all just say that. at all so we all leave we're, we all we're all separate cars mariah and he drive together i drive with todd and um vince and carla drive separately and, and then david and natalie are in and her car. and their friends drive separately whole entourage okay. exactly i'm just driving i'm gonna kick it to mariah because that's because well, she, yes. she's the one that called me well we saw something first tell tell them about the seeing them fly up well that's where that's where we're at <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> that's where we're at we take, take take it over take the wheel take the wheel it's like Jesus, it, take it, the wheel <laughs> It's like bop it, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> pass it, twist it, pass it, ding, 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 ding. ding. We should, we should have like a magic stick that we pass a around. Stick. A talking stick, magic stick. A okay, Harry stick. Potter. Yeah. Okay, so we get in the car, and it was late at night, and it was all of us driving behind each other, and we hit a red light, and Vince makes it through the light. This other car behind us comes flying. I'm telling you, it comes flying <laughs> past us like. You wouldn't believe like 80 miles an hour just zoom in. And we're at like a now, standstill at the light. Right, and they went in the open light. lane. It went through the red light. By the way, it's on the PCH so, for the people yeah. that know Malibu. And we were like, who was in that car? Was that and Natalie had some of her friends with her? So we didn't know what cars they were driving. So I was like, that was not Natalie's friends, was it? Minutes later, we get a call from Vince. 
And he goes, yo, who's in this red what BMW. Was it? BMW, Mercedes, doesn't matter. I think it was who's a Mercedes. in this red car? And we were like, I don't know. So we're calling Natalie. We're like, are any of your friends in the red car? No, we don't know this person. He said, this person's driving like a maniac. They're clearly intoxicated. Like all over the road. All over the road, driving into oncoming traffic, driving off the edge. At first, I thought Vince was like, um, I thought he was, I thought was exaggerating. Over, I thought he was exaggerating. Yes. I thought he was overreacting. I was like, right. ah, because I knew this car was going to pass us at some point. I was like, because we, we were first. So I was like, Let's just see what this what yeah. this car looks like. So all of a sudden, <laughs> this car flies by, and this girl is swerving Matt, all like you over the believe. highway. We hit the freeway, and she, I'm, I cannot believe she, there must have been a guardian angel because she was getting so close to the wall the whole time. It was like a five lane thing. She was all over the lanes from the left all the way to the it was right. So now it was terrifying we, to watch. We basically form a wall. We're all in our cars. There's one, two, three, four people. No, one, two, doesn't matter. Four cars, right? We're all driving and we're basically creating a barricade and we are preventing other cars from zooming by because so it was we're all bad. right behind her and she's just like, we're watching her. I have a few videos. And it's crazy because we all know that this girl like is. Yeah. In time, and we saw her leaving uh, like Nobu. So in our head it was like, so, maybe she left drunk. Right, because we saw the red car in the parking lot. But oh. when we were standing at valet, she was just normal arms crossed. Like nothing, there was no glaze, nothing. She looked stone cold sober. Yeah. But That's mind you, mind scary. you, we weren't like, we right. weren't like That's why it's scary. Her. You yeah. never know. Where are your friends also? So we're following her on the freeway. She's all the way in the left lane. We're all on the phone with each other. Like, I'm like, is Zane going to know how to react if she hits this wall? Because he was right behind her. This whole, everything was We going kept our mind. distance, but we were yeah. also creating a barricade. Right. So we were calling each other, making sure that everybody's okay. We all also were, sudden, were on the phone with 911. Right. So we report the 911 call. And then at the same time, Vince and Carla were, call were calling and they said, yeah, we already got the report. Was that Malibu police or just? We at, the, at this point, we had gotten on that. We just. So now she's in the left lane. Suddenly, an exit comes up from the left lane, hard right, all the way across four lanes into the exit. So we passed. Matt, she does it like a, she does so like a, I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. Yes. It was exactly, exactly what it that. Was. It was that so scene fast. in Family Guy. It was so fast that we had no time to get to the exit. Vince was like, "Fuck it, I'm going." He cuts to the exit. So now we're watching and we're waiting for to see where they're gonna go. Heath and I get off at the next exit. We tell Zane, we're like, "We got it from here." Like Vince is following her. So Vince is on the phone with the cops. They're on the case already. They're sending people out. They're telling us you should hear sirens soon. Like they're they're coming. They knew exactly where we were. So Vince is following them. Heath and I are like, send us but your we location. Were just, we were just so worried that she was gonna like hit somebody, hit yeah. a wall, like oh, hurt yeah. herself she or somebody almost else. Hit the, she almost hit the wall like five times. Yeah. It, it, it would be like, it would highway. be drifting, drifting, drifting. All of a sudden it would get like an inch and then would correct. Unbelievably it close. It was yeah. crazy. Not, I've never seen like a drunk driver like that. It was in like my a life cartoon on a, on a it highway. Was, it was like Mario Kart, and there was bananas everywhere. Yeah, yeah. you know, you it know was, when like the cops are, are driving ahead to slow traffic, and they're that's like, what it was. and they're like this to keep everybody back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what it felt like, but at, at like eighty miles an hour. Yes, that was exactly it. And I felt really bad too because I feel like if we were at an intersection, if we were on like regular streets, I feel like we would have like gotten out of the car and just been like, hey, you need to call someone right now to take you like to take you home like park in the park right. but like it was she was going so fast on a highway there was no, no nobody she, nobody's gonna stop her except for the cops yeah we were texting vince and carla and i said send pin me your location so we end up finding them and well we're facetiming and all of a sudden we hear vince's car go in park banging on this girl's window he stopped her a citizen's, citizen's arrest. arrest. He bangs on her window and he goes, get the fuck out of the car. Get the fuck out of the car. And then he takes the, the keys out of the ignition and grabs her purse and goes, you could pick this up at the fucking police station. <gasps> like this whole thing. Crazy. So, and you just hear this girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? And he gets out of the car. Heath and I show up. And this girl, <laughs> well, 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 say well, what Vincent, well, when, well, he well, when he looks at the ID. Oh, uh, I started getting like, I started thinking too. I was like, oh my God, maybe, maybe she's doing this hard cut across the highway because now she thinks she's being chased right. by like four cars. Yeah, no. Oh. And then, you know how Vince rolled up? He said, I rolled up to her window. She was jamming out. <laughs> she was parked. She so had no idea any of us were even following yeah, her. Yeah, she ended up pulling into her driveway. She lives in an apartment complex. She pulled into like the garage area by the sidewalk. 
And she was jamming out. And when she was like, where did you come from? And she was so confused. He told her, we've been following you for, it was a 30 minute drive. It wasn't down the block. It was like a 30 minute drive, like high speed chase with everybody. (laughs) (laughs) It was fucking intense. It was intense. So he he pulls the purse, pulls out the ID. (laughs) And she was like, wait, give that back. And he's like, you're not getting it. You'll get it from the police station. Can you do that? Well, we well, did, well, we ended up not, but wait. Okay. <laughs> but th- didn't you tell me that uh, Vince goes, oh, what are, you, what are you high? Oh, yeah. And she goes, no, no I'm from Texas. No, he goes, oh, my. No, so <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Heath and I show up and we're, and we're parked on either side of her. And when we pull up, it's like this girl got grounded from her father. Like she was sitting like this. I'm sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. Even her How standing old? outside, probably 25. Okay. Yeah. Even her standing outside the car. There was her walking. She seemed so sober. You it was never, weird. Even looking at her, she came up to, oh, he, or she was facing Vince and Vince was like, you almost killed everybody in the road. You almost killed yourself. You almost killed my friends. Turn around and look at them. And she turned around. And she goes, oh, please, I'm so sorry. And she was like very apologetic. She was like, do what you have to do. Like, I'm so sorry. I know I was wrong. Like all this stuff. She was panicking and freaking out. Cause but Vince were you scared. guys asking like, why? Well, that's when Vince goes, are you, she was explaining and he goes, are you on fucking drugs? And she goes, I'm from Texas. And he goes, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, it was so funny. Fucking um, yeah. So we're trying to like, Keep keep this girl calm and, and she's like apologizing. Like, but she, I think she was starting to process the fact that like we were also on the phone with nine one one still right. while we were like talking with her. So I think it was like going through her head like what was about to go down. Yeah, like in like you know when you're like drunk and kind of like coming to and yeah. yeah. Also, I feel like you kind of sober up real quick as soon as you know like oh, oh my yeah. god I'm about yeah. to get like. It's just crazy that you couldn't tell. Like you never know if you are with friends and you are drinking at all. Like, do not get behind the wheel. So, oh my it's god! It's more it's like manic sense. than drunk. It was. It was, it was really weird. And and <laughs> so, <laughs> but bro, bro. So wait, so, wait, 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 wait. Because you're gonna skip. I know you're gonna skip. Our, so Vince, hold on, because he's gonna skip to the funny part. <laughs> so Vince takes her keys and he parks her car. He goes, "Show me your spot." So now the four of us are huddled like this around his his big ass Cullinan and we're just like hanging out like this. And we're like, Vince goes, what do you want to do with her? To Heath, what should we do <laughs> with like, her? He's like, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? And we're on, still on the phone with the cops and we have a change of heart and we're just like, I was like, I was like, her. she's already she's gonna, home now. Right. She's gonna like, she's gonna wake up in the morning and be like, holy shit, I made the most yeah. fucking horrible mistake so, of my life. And you know, yeah. hopefully learn from this mistake. And hopefully. Vince threatened her. He goes, if I ever see you on this on the streets again, you're gonna remember this face, I swear to God. He was, you're gonna tell your was, grandkids about me. Yeah, she was so scared of him and it was crazy. But he also so, looks like an off-duty he, cop. He does look an off-duty like, cop. He, he, he's got like that uh-huh. build. His, <laughs> the, his car is completely blacked out. The confidence that he has, like especially in a situation like that, yeah. I anybody would do exactly yeah. like what super he tells intimidating. You to do. Right. You know what exactly. I mean? The accent, everything. So we sent her upstairs, but we wait there for a good 10 minutes to make sure she's not hopping back in. I don't know. <laughs> so we let her go upstairs and, and we're just with the cops and they're like, okay, you should be hearing the sirens soon. And Carla is just the sweetest little thing. And she's just like, you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna forget about this. And the cops are like, okay. The cops had no questions. They were like, okay, we're turning them around. <laughs> so we let her go. Vince took a picture of her ID. So I was like, let me see the ID. So he showed me, I looked her up on Instagram. We found her Instagram her, immediately. And then I looked at her stories. Guess what her stories were during the time of the chase? <laughs> In her car? In her car! No! No! Bumping yeah. music, Matt, like, like feeling this. herself. Like this. I took. I was she like, wasn't even looking on the road, Matt. She was like this. No. While we were chasing her. It was crazy. And it was the whole time, Matt. It was the whole time because we were following her the entire time. The, the entire time. It you was might like, even see our cars in the back of her story. It, because, it's us honking. It's 100% because it was, we were following her the entire time. She's on Zans. <laughs> That you know what she could have been barred out. That yeah. looks that looks with, like with alcohol. She like, has like the, that it. that like bar kind of like look about her. She kind of looks familiar. Oh, oh wait, if you if she's, she's yeah she's a Texas from, girl. Wait, shut up, no, no, no. Matt. No. Oh my god. If Matt knows her, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna die throw myself out of this room. For Texas being the biggest state, it's such a small world yeah. with everybody there. Matt just knows everybody. Oh wait, Vince wanted to um keep the idea. Because obviously we don't want to just let her go. Like that was very irresponsible what she did. So 
we were going to send her the videos that I took of her driving like yeah. a maniac on the freeway, just DM them to her and DM her her ID. Oh my Like from God. Vince's, from Vince's from end. He was like, send me all the videos. I want to send them to her. So she wakes up to it. You got you to gotta learn somehow. Did I don't he? know if he did. I got to ask him. <laughs> so yeah, uh, uh, big lesson. If you guys are going out even to a restaurant and you plan on having even one drink, Be just Uber. Be yeah. responsible. You got nothing to lose. Especially when you're on yeah. Zannies. <laughs> <laughs> you think, do you think that's, that's what it was? I, yeah. it looks, yeah, it looks like it, something was definitely off. Pills. She looked way too sober. So it must have been. I don't like, know. It doesn't even feel like alcohol. Like It doesn't. It, I mean, the way she came off, it didn't. She it seemed, wasn't like she a. She seemed coherent. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah. The way she was driving, though, it was like she was the only person. I just world. can't believe our friend made a, a citizen's arrest. That's unbelievable. And then she actually, like, she actually listened to him. Yeah. I'm surprised she well, didn't, like, freak out on him. As soon as he opens his mouth, I'm like, yes, sir. Can you do a citizen's arrest? No, I feel you, like that's in movies. Yeah, can you, 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 you get you a can, key yeah. to the city for that. <laughs> you can you legally can, detain you can, somebody. You can do a citizen's arrest. No, I mean, he didn't detain her. He just... He honestly probably now, saved the life. He yeah, just stopped he really her on did. the side. He stopped her and uh, and took the keys out, which I feel like that was the best thing you could possibly do. Like in that if situation. a robber, how to properly do it? Because then it could also technically be like kidnapping and holding somebody against their will. That's true. Yeah, that's why I'm like, there's okay, a, there's a fine line. Okay, okay, I think okay, it just okay, has okay. to be California. A crime. California allows a private person to make a citizen's arrest of a perpetrator who commits a misdemeanor in a citizen's presence or commits a felony and a citizen has reasonable cause to believe the perpetrator committed it. So a private person is like a, like a, like private, uh, like a, like a private company. Any, no, no, any private person. security or any, anybody, but like th you better be right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's a, that's a fucking lot. Huge yeah. lawsuit right there. That's really, I get, but like, how do you like, you're allowed to put somebody in, like if you had zip ties, cuff someone up, or you just have to I be don't like, think citizen's I, to, arrest, to, stay down here. To me, a citizen's arrest is I think of if somebody was robbing a store and they ran out and somebody tackled Tackles them to help yeah. the cops. That's what I And think like it held is. them until a cop got yeah, there. Yeah, like they're just assisting. I guess I've, I don't know. I was like detained by an off duty or former police officer who told us to Matt. wait until you. cops came. <laughs> You got citizens arrested. I guess I did. Matt has a history, Whoa. huh? What was this well, that's, for? That's, that's, like, Matt, that's you, Matt, upper left. <laughs> I, well, like, I feel like I've said this story before. I was smoking weed mm. in high school. A few oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Not, yeah. not the time where I was like, told the guy I was going to college, but a oh. cop, like a car came like- No, that, we was, a, that was a bit, that was in David's video. No, 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 <laughs> no. just like a, a cop who was like off duty, but had like, Undercover lights pulled us over, but we had to wait until real cops came. Oh, is that allowed? I don't. I don't know. Remember well, we back, didn't get charged with re anything. Remember back then there'd be undercover cops, like they'll be driving on the highway, it would be in a black car, and then all of a sudden the sirens go on and they would stop people, but it, there were cops. Such a pain in the ass. I, it's crazy that that was like allowed. Like I would There's never still undercovers. Yeah. I would never stop for a fucking cop. Well, they what, tell you not to car. stop for a cop, like. Like just lights oh, on a because you never know. You yeah, never know. That's, oh, yeah, that's, that's scary. scary. Fuck that. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, Rothy's. If you guys don't know what Rothy's is, Rothy's is the perfect shoes for commuting and traveling. Everyone notices them. They're very well known for their chic pointed toe flats, but that's just the beginning. They have a ton of iconic head turning designs in bright and sophisticated colors. Plus Rothy's work great with every outfit, wear them with yoga pants or dress them up for a night out. I never go to a yoga class without my Rothy's on. Exactly. And the best part about it is that Rothy's takes sustainability to the next level. All their products are knit with thread made from plastic water bottles and they've repurposed around 125 million water bottles so far. So look good, feel good, do good for the environment and help the planet all while being sexy and honestly i love how comfortable they are you could literally slip them on and then just keep them on all day long i even sleep on them which leads me to my next point washability they're super easy to wash, Zane. And that's great because my shoes get so dirty so quick. Yes, so they the do. fact that we can put them in the washing machine just makes it that much better. Discover for yourself how versatile all their styles can be that you can wear absolutely anywhere. Plus, you're going to get $20 off your first purchase at rothys.com slash unfiltered. Again, that's R-O-T-H-Y-S dot com slash unfiltered for $20 off your first order. So do yourself and the planet a favor and get your first mm -hmm. pair of Rothys at rothys.com slash unfiltered. Thank you, Rothys. We love you. I I was um, a hero the other day. Do you, tell. You saved a life? 
She did. I did a, a, furry, a furry life. <laughs> was it Jonah? It's not that crazy of a story, but it was pretty funny. So Heath and I went to go see, were we going to open house? Doesn't matter. We we're going to open house. I'm learning that shit doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually important details that you're missing out. It doesn't matter. So we saved the dog's life. <laughs> So we were going to an open house and we're trying to find parking. And I pull over to this off street and I see a dog like run in front of my car. And of course I was driving slow and responsibly. So I was able to- And away. sober. Well, weren't drunk, and yeah. Sober. Wasn't barred out, yeah. that's good. So I slowly like stopped the brakes. It was like this little chihuahua chubby little thing. So he was going slow. He was oh, trying. Those yeah. fat chihuahuas, yeah. they are something else. You know exactly else. the ones I'm talking about. John, Bel so, John Belushi has one. John, John He's Benet dead. One. Jesus. No, uh, no, no, Jim, no. Jim Belushi? Jim, Jim. Jim brother? Belushi is also dead. No, no, Jim's no the, still alive. The, the big actor, the big actor. He, uh, the, There's John Belushi, Jim Belushi. I'm thinking of John, John Ritter. Benet Ramsey. I thought John Ritter died, sorry. <laughs> Fuck no, we saw him outside of the Mercedes. Um, Jerry Seinfeld? This big guy with a little chihuahua. Oh God, it's gonna kill me. Oh, 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 What's oh. his name? John. It's an Italian last Jacob name. Jacob Jinger Smith. He, he's like a chubby guy. He's, it doesn't matter. Hold on, now, now, no, now I'm pissed. <laughs> Cause we had to sidetrack. Good luck finding a DJ that can move and shake like this. From uh, Wedding Singer. Oh, okay. John Lovitz. John Lovitz. John Lovitz. Jealous? He has a yeah, John Lovitz. I saw I, him outside uh, of a dealership with a fat chihuahua. Oh, no It was way. unbelievable. Like, Oh, that's funny. He Jealous. wasn't even by a neighborhood. I was like, what the hell are you doing just walking your chihuahua outside uh, of a dealership? That's bridge? funny. I love him in Rat Race. I wrote a David Copperfield. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, anyways, Mariah. Oh, but, fuck, funny. I'm sorry. I just had to. Ruin it. Um, no, yeah, that's a big weight off my shoulders. <laughs> um, so this dog runs in front of the car. I stop the car. And then I see this older lady, maybe late 60s, early 70s. And she, you know what people say? Like, <laughs> people look like their dogs. Yes. Oh. She didn't, like, look like the dog, but they walked the same because she was a little older and she was trying to run, too. So these both of the dog and her were trying to run, but it was like this slow mo. Oh no. Like it was like I had the click remote and she was just like, <laughs> and she's having trouble. And I'm just watching this lady because there's nobody else around. It was an empty block. I'm like, let me just see how this unfolds. She could not chase this dog for the life of her. I was like, son of a bitch. I'm in the middle of the street. I parked the car now. Now the dog's down the block. I like like the girl in the red Mercedes zoomed past her. I was sprinting. This Running for your life. I ran for my life. I ran and I didn't know chihuahuas are like cats. You don't yes. know when they, they're yeah. they small, they small are, they can be, they can yeah. be vicious. Yeah, small but mighty. <laughs> Um, so I ran up and I didn't know how to approach it. And this, the woman didn't really speak English. And I was like this and I was like looking and I was like, is this okay? And she was just like, uh, like she had no idea. It was she like was another she was, day. She was barred out. She had the leash. Everybody barred out. Oh she had God. the leash and collar in one hand and she's <laughs> making her way downtown and I'm running and I'm like, huh? Like, I don't know how to be like, what do you like, come, come here. And the dog did like that thing where it was like this. And then I just like grabbed it and put it in her arms. And she was like, okay. She did. She didn't even care. No, was she, she didn't just care. Like, was like she just it, high? It seems like it just happens all the time. It was just like, I know my grandma was like that with her dog before she passed away. She's just not a care. Like a, a part of her kind of wanting it to get away. <laughs> yeah. She's so like looking like she's going after yeah. it. Because yeah. like, you don't oh, want that you guilty conscious of you, you fucking. Right, you have to like it, you kind of convince yourself that you tried. Like to God, say God, I tried to right, right, catch exactly. the dog and it fucking and ran away. And of course my sick self has a picture of her with the dog. <laughs> did you take a picture Here's of the dog? Here's your dog. Of no. course I did. Yeah, come on, man. Did you take a selfie or you just took a picture of the dog? I took a picture as I drove. No, I took a picture of her holding the dog. Oh. Oh, perfect. Oh, no collar, nothing. I'll nice. find it. Someone else talk here. No, we'll wait. There she is. Oh, <laughs> let's see. Let me just, see. Just Barb and a dog. Right. That's exactly oh. how I imagined her when you were saying the story. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. Like, yeah, she did the thing. Oh, she did some not of those care. small dogs, like they're really not going to go that far. <laughs> that's a cute like, picture. It's yeah. cute. I should send that. I should airdrop this to that location. Yeah, she should main feed on her Instagram. Great. She's killing that fit. She didn't. Yeah, she really is. Look at those shoes. Dude, fucking right. slay, mama. Like, put the collar on. Put the collar on. I can't stand off leash dogs. I don't know why it makes me Put so Put your dog angry. on a leash. I remember it's that one time I was got, I got bit by a dog. I, I do not understand it. The like, only dog that's acceptable is Carl. Right, Super but well but it's also like in like a like a private setting. 
I, I can't oh, say right. when people like yeah. walk on the sidewalk with their like just put a leash on it. Yeah, you never know. They're because, animals because the, the owners aren't didn't fucking train it. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're telling me. You're telling me. Traumatized. All right. Not what, what, did friendly. We lo- what did we learn? Leashes on dogs. Sobriety. Sobriety. While driving. There we go. We're learning today. Remember in uh, remember in Rat Race where like he get he steals Hitler's car. Like Dad, I can't believe you stole Hitler's car. And then they get. Remember that? I don't yeah. think I've and ever. He, and I've, he gets the lipstick on the thing, and then he burns his finger, and then he like they crash. Like <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a movie with him in it. You've never seen just Rat seen, Race? No, I've never seen. Dude, Rat Race is a great movie. Have you seen Rat Race? No, is We're, he, is everyone's going in, to Silver. In, Mr. Bean's in it. Is he in Grown Ups? John look up, look up his race. IMDb. Rat Race, like Whoopi Goldberg, Cuba Gooding Jr., John. <laughs> what Cleese. is it? What is it about? It's about a bunch, a bunch of people in, in Vegas get like this uh, key to go up to a private room, and they're told that there is a million dollars in a uh, locker in Silver City, New Mexico, and the first person to get there wins it all. So they <laughs> all race from Vegas to Silver City. And it's just, and there are no rules. So they just all go ballistic and there's all these funny storylines of them trying to get That's to- cool. Have you seen Bench Warmers? I love oh, Bench yes. Warmers. Bench Warmers. That's what I meant. Oh, well, okay. He's the, rich just nerd. he's the rich nerd who like sponsors yeah, the team. Yeah, that's where I know him from. What a great movie, Bench Warmers. I see myself in a lot of those kids. Does he remember that TikTok you sent me that was so relatable to both of us? The girl crying on her bed saying like, it is so hard to be dumb. <laughs> She's like, I never, it's not even, I'm not even like trying to be funny. I never related. Like, why wouldn't we just make a video saying that? Like she hit the nail on the head. She was like, it's so much harder going through life when you're dumb. And it really is. And, and it's, she was saying that it's almost like we, dumb people actually work harder than smart people because we have to think harder. That's why they call it work harder, not sm- or work smarter, not harder. She was you know I, 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 well, I was thinking about that like the other day, like Elon Musk already has somebody in mind who he wants to take over Twitter. And I'm, I was Beast. like, Mr. Beast. I, no, it's not Mr. Yeah, Beast. That's, you, didn't see the, you didn't see the engagement? Yeah. That means it's his. He said, he's okay. Next in line. Yeah. Yeah. He dies, but just like another like person. But who like is the CEO of Twitter? I'm like, who the fuck is that person? Like, I can't. I, Obviously, there are these big business leaders, but that's like a level of intelligence. Like, I don't can't comprehend it. I can't comprehend like coming in and be like, yeah, we need to change that thing. It's so like, crazy to me. Like Elon Musk is not even a businessman anymore. He's a social media monster to me. Yeah. Like he's just he's become this like celebrity influencer. I just, just I just found out he didn't start Tesla. No, what, he bought then what, it. What, then he just bought it from somebody. He bought it from two really smart guys that started it. Oh, I had no idea. The only thing he did start was PayPal, right? No. Elon Musk started oh, no. PayPal. He started PayPal? That's, I how he, he, I, that's how he made his- like, I thought he just invested in it. No, he started no, PayPal. Pay, PayPal was invented by Elon Musk. I'm oh, well. I'm pretty sure, if, is that sound correct? PayPal, Musk then found an online service, CompX.com, which later became PayPal. X.com. That sounds dirty. Oh, what a fucking maniac. What's Do y'all know who Baby Jessica was? What's Baby Jessica? Baby, baby Jessica? Jessica was this, uh, Google Baby Jessica. Baby Jessica was this girl who fell into a well in, I'm oh, pretty yeah. sure, the early 90s or the late 80s. Yeah, yeah it was, um, she fell into a well in- uh, 1987. 1986. No, in 1987, yes. She fell into a well in the, and she was trapped down there for over like 48 hours. And it was this what? huge operation to get this. I think it was like 50 something hours, right? 50 Jesus. something hours. This baby fell into a well out. Like, like in, is it filled with water? Like, so she fell and got stuck and like her leg was above her head. She was kind of in like a split position. And her oh, head was down. Shit. And they had to basically like. Wait, I'm sorry. In the well, isn't isn't it filled with water? Or pull is it up, empty? pull up, uh, baby Jessica well underground, or type in well and then click Google Images. It, in my head, I'm just imagining just a, like a, a what a well looks like. A well and there's water on the bottom. Another, well, I think, another white bitch fell down the well again. Another white bitch fell down the well again. I think that's what she was basically. <laughs> wait, I'm trying to like. Wait, see, oh, really? that's no, that, by the wait, ring. No, she, I the so ring. she fell down the well and then she was trapped in that little thing at the bottom. And so then they had to drill down and then drill back into the well to rescue her. Oh, wait, wow. how, like so. Wait, she fell down that tube, that tube, and then into that like uh, orifice. Is that a right? Is that a right? How word? did she survive that fall? Orifice? I it's don't a miracle. think so. I don't even think I made up that word. And like hitting, like hitting the walls, like hitting the. Dude, it was twenty it's, feet it's deep. She fell, and they made it. So the whole world was tuning into this. 
um, girl, and I'm only bringing this up because I've known about it and I just I've saw never TikTok heard recently. of it. That's her now, the blue shirt. And yes, that's her now. And what's crazy no, is she ended up getting basically like a trust fund. So many people cared about baby Jessica. No, the other they basically shirt. raised like, I think near to a million dollars. And then she finally like got access to the money when she was um, oh my God. in her like 20s. But can you imagine like you were a child and you fell down a well, but you don't even like remember, remember any of it? She doesn't remember at all. She remembers that's nothing. That's insane. Yeah. And, and then, then you just have... Millions when the whole world because was the whole, watching you, and yeah. She's like not really on uh social media. The only anything. thing she like has from that day is like a scar on her face, and she lives out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, like I saw the scar, it's not that bad for falling down a fucking well. No, no, I mean, not that bad, but you were bait. What's weird is any old person like that you ask, do you know who baby Jessica is? Everybody knows, really, who baby Jessica. That's like is. one of those questions they would ask you to prove your age, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> Just like that. So so did they know she was in there from the moment she fell? Or was it like, well, where is she's Jessica? At, she's at great, she's at, I think she was at her grandma's house and she kind of had like a daycare and the kids were out running in the backyard and she just crawled down to this well and, and fell in. And then they were like, where is she? And they could hear her crying down there. Oh my so God. And then what's, dude, what's even crazier, and it's a little dark, the guy who was like in charge of the operation to basically go down and get her had so much post-traumatic stress disorder that like five years later, he no. killed himself. From that from that situation? From that situation, even like it was a successful rescue, it was the most stressful like 48 hours of his life that he like couldn't handle it. Yeah. This is like a baby. A baby. Isn't that wild? There was a picture of two kids looking. I know that's not a real picture, but like, is I, that what it looks like? The uh, top yes, of it? Yes, that's how big it was. Wow. The well. Like, it's not like your standard, like, old Crank bucket, the bucket. well. Right. No. That's what I imagined in my yeah, head. Yeah, no, it was like a drainage pipe that just went oh, super wow. deep. And nobody thought to just, like, cover that up. It was no. a different time. It was. <laughs> Was it? <laughs> and that's that's her now with like her two kids. We can laugh. She's alive. Yeah. But what's funny is remember that, that 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 team in uh or the that that soccer team in I'm pretty sure Thailand oh, found in that, the cave that mm -hmm. got that was in the cave. Mm -hmm. They asked they asked baby Jessica what were your thoughts about this kid. She goes I didn't even know what happened. Yeah, <laughs> she's so out of touch. With, she's living her life so I'm just, right now. I'm just fucking loaded. Yeah, yeah right. She wow, like, what a fucking legend. Well, do you think it like grew in money if you if, if you, it's invested? It ate, uh, did they? Invest the donation, uh, right? Uh, to the market. Is uh, it now? Is it tax free? I bet it's a donation. Look at her. Oh my god! Oh, but what a crazy time. Have you seen people that do the really tight, small cave exploring? Yes, I'm, I'm, Heath. I can't watch those videos. I literally, my skin crawls. There's holes this big that just open up to a cave and people just inchworm Wiggle their body their into, in there. I do not understand it. And how does it not hurt? How does it not hurt going through those like rocks? Cause even when I scrape the edge of my fucking wall, I'm like, oh, that doesn't oh. feel good. But there's and you're they, fucking they, crawling. They contort themselves and basically go. I would just get sick of laying on my stomach for so long. I would I would need to like do like a spin or something. <laughs> I would just be down there going like, yeah. Yeah. like I would want to be on my side for a second, maybe go to my back. All right, I'm done. I, get me out of here. I can't. panic if she's laying on the blanket <laughs> and I'm under it and I can't lift my leg uh, in that split second that I need to lift. I yeah. freak out. Yeah. I couldn't imagine moving. <laughs> Zane, imagine like forty-five minutes to get through a crack where you're going like this. Heath, I can't even be on, I can't no. even be on an airplane. And like, you have to just <laughs> and it's just I do not get it. Look how happy it can't looks. be that fucking cool inside the no, game. No, it's, it's not. That, it. No, people it, have different interests. Not mine, but no way. People have it. That is not cool look at all. Happy. That she is a looks, fucking nightmare. And, and Zane, you know you what? At least there, her skin is clear. You get down there and like look around. Look how cool it is. You're just like this. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> All right. Zane, you guys ready to go back up? <laughs> you have to bring fucking oil just so you can spin yourself around. All Bubba, right. Bubba, just I would have so much anxiety, like, even if I got stuck, like, realizing how big the operation is going to be. I'm like, how many people are up there? Like, a hundred? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry, guys. Like, I didn't that's, know. That's a nightmare. And people do that shit for fun, huh? It's not their job. That's fun. This This is fun for them. And it gets to the point where, like, they can't even go down face. They have to turn their head sideways Ow. to try to like with my neck doing this. Come on. Imagine being like a bigger boned person. 
Imagine and like this is your Chihuahua. fucking passion Imagine. and you can't get into this <laughs> and, 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 and like there's really tiny people that are just like going into these things and you just have really broad shoulders Dale maybe you shouldn't come on this <laughs> one Dude, or imagine you like you, you go exploring you gotta go and then get back you go explore and then you eat like a bar and then you fucking yeah. grow and you can't Dale. fit your way back you're fucked Dale is the <laughs> perfect name Dale what, uh, what other Dale. What, what are those people's names probably Rachel is definitely one why does that look like Mr. Beast Rachel Rachel, and, Rachel wives, and Dale are married <laughs> and they do this for their fun. Their wives are like, yeah, you going on another one of those things? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. And you know how like you put a ring on and there's times and you, you freak out. Yeah. What do you like? I feel like that's like that's how a lot of these spaces are. Like you get in, but you're not able to get out. Or when you put your arm through a fucking uh, what are those fit like the staircase, like the banister? <laughs> yeah. You put your arm in, you can't take it out. Oh, What's the yeah. difference between that and, the, and any of these fucking rocks that you're sliding through? I've been in a few caves. You know what cave I want to see so bad. You know the one where it's like open on the top and there's water on the bottom. Wait, it's, it's nothing like this. No, it's the, beautiful. Uh, the one yeah. in the Bahamas, like the blue, look, the blue lagoon. Look up yeah. Thunderball. They, they look, have, up, look up Thunderball Cave in um, Bahamas. They have. I've one been in, in Florida this one. too, Zane. Sorry, audio. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. That's I jumped. Beautiful. I jumped through the hole of that into the middle. Wait, is that where they shot that movie with uh, Timothy Oliphant? The um. That movie. It was like the two couples and they go on an island and there was blue like lagoon. two murderers. Oh, that's not. Bad. Uh, it was called. Um, oh, I know what you're talking about. Like the, like the tourists or something. Yeah, it, they, it was a scene where it was. That shit was scary when you jump because you have to jump so perfectly where your back won't hit. Like, because oh. it's just that circle. But if you jump just enough, your back can scrape oh, fuck. down the oh my side. God. Of that. That's like the fucking worst. Feeling. I'm like good. The bottom of a that pool. terrified the shit out of me. Do you think? Oh no, I had like cold plunges on. Well, well, I love cold plunges. Was there something specific about well, that? Well, I'm just interested. Well, like people who do cold plunges and then like there's also thing about doing cold showers. He but does I does that. Like, but you do it? Yeah. Every yeah, day? Hell, every, every shower. Time. Not the whole shower, but the last like two minutes. Uh, like when he's, I, like, when he's ready to get out, he'll turn it all the way cold and just stand under it. And, you, and do you notice a difference? That's, does it get easier and easier? That's very brave of you. Um, it does get easier. Uh, but... It just, it literally wakes you up and you feel like it's, it's horrible while you're in it. But afterwards you're like, wow, I feel like alive. It gets, it gets rid of hangovers and puts you in a better mood. They're so beneficial. I keep yeah. debating on like, oh, should I commit to like a 30 day challenge of doing. Start, start with doing like the end of your shower and yeah. try to do it longer and longer I, every I, time. Yeah, or, or just do the end of your shower. You don't have to do the whole shower. I mean, it's kind of yeah. miserable doing the whole fifth whatever this five ten minutes no, i mean it helps people listening you know oh. people wake up early oh. for work every day i think this could be a great way to start their morning and just go Woo! shower I, I really i really want to do one of the um ice bucket challenge plunges. <laughs> oh oh like yeah. just like an like a legitimate ice bucket those big like, barrels they that have people them get into. they have them at like go, tulum and go shit. get uh, baptized <laughs> <laughs> i did that. have them put ice in it I, well i remember getting really jealous when like my baptist friends would get baptized and we'd go and i was like there's a whole pool back there like i was yeah. like i want to go <laughs> like yeah. take me a dip because like catholics they'll just dip like you're just I want to. I want to do the one head. in the ocean. Oh, Brianna, my cousin Brianna did that in Florida. Oh. That must feel so spiritual, like doing it in the ocean, like yeah. you're one within the mm -hmm. earth. She gets stung by a jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if, if God I, wanted it that way, I'd come out be like, "It's too cold." Are you? That's in the. Sh <laughs> <laughs> It's the whole thing is see me just <laughs> <laughs> a riptide. The Ow. devil gets you when you're at your highest, and the devil laughs. Osana in the highest, and I the keep devil forgetting laughs. about the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Good. The devil wants you to forget about him. Does the devil really want you to forget about him? Did the devil make me just pick up this mic? <laughs> Bottoms up, and the devil laughs. The <laughs> this devil is laughs. not a Christian product. <laughs> You see these numbers? <laughs> 666, right on the can. That is an amazing video. MILFs dig it. <laughs> MILFs Big dig effing it. can. BFC. <laughs> <laughs> Big effing can. Does it still say MILFs dig it? No. That, There's that, no way. It had to have been like from its first days. Big, big effing can. Right on the product. And what do you see here in the O? A cross. <laughs> And when you drink it, you drink it, bottoms up, upside down, and, and the, the devil, devil laughs. laughs.
This is how the <laughs> devil enters our home. I love that woman. <laughs> Let's get her on. <clears throat> what the hell is this? Dolly Parton and Doja Cat will star in a TikTok musical about oh, Taco yeah. Bell's Mexican pizza. Oh my god! What does that They're even really. Mean? You remember the what the song she mean? did, dude? Dolly, you've made plenty of money. Oh, well, <laughs> like, Taco Bell, you've made plenty of money. Uh, but she must be just like, I want my grandkids to have all the money. I, no, I think to me, I think she's just seeing like what's trending. Like, oh, people love TikTok. People love Doja and Cat. People love, love Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. So uh, you know, I'm gonna be a part of this wave. I, I guess. It may, like, I don't think she. I don't think she sees that this is like stupid. And uh, not stupid, but like <sighs> Mimi. Sorry, not stupid. Doja, you're not stupid. Uh, Mimi. <clears throat> Dolly Parton, just, just love that case, one. You, just in case Doja's <laughs> watching, you know what I mean? Because I love to, I love all three of those things. In my Tennessee <laughs> mountain. Mariah, stop unbuttoning your shirt. I, Jesus. I was seeing if my necklace could fit in the like a button. And the devil laughs. <laughs> the devil's gone to Mariah. Big fucking case. <laughs> Do we want to bet on if it fits or not? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna go as her as Halloween. <laughs> like, and you just can't. You that's like good. No shirt, because I think you, you can. Have, you have like the monster can, and you go. Around. I think you Mama. can. I think you can easily memorize it uh, for a party. Uh, I, I saw a girl on TikTok who. There did. was there was a guy that did it that was really. Oh, good. he was amazing. It fits if anybody's wondering. <laughs> I heard it rip. It's I heard not some rip. seams pop. <laughs> All right, should All right, we call it? Yeah, we should this call it. This was fun. Yeah, this was, was great. great. I think this was one of my favorite podcasts. Nice. Me too. Mm. It was like it was fun. It was laid back. Yeah. Good vibes. Kept it real. Zane begged to take a break because he couldn't stand this episode. <laughs> <laughs> my brain's not working today. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mine, mine is on, not on a Every this other episode, on guys, my brain, like, it just isn't on. We got it's a hot tough. guess. Well, it won't come out for a while. Hot guess. Oh, oh my God. God. She's young. She's Matt. a boy. She's a boy. Oh, I meant hot in terms of like hype. Like, I wasn't talking. Yeah, I'm sure. Jesus. I was not talking about her look. Get him out here. He's a pervert. I, you need to leave. I, I think I was saying it like how Jimmy Fallon are you, but we got a big hot guest coming up for you guys next. Like, I was just. I don't know. The way you said it. Yeah, your delivery. We got yeah. a hot guess. <laughs> you heard the way he said it? We got really hot. Hot, easy. Yes. That just, is not how I just. Mean. And I saw you lick your lips. You're like, you saw that too. Yeah, I was like, a little hot. You could tell he was thinking about it. Bottoms up. <laughs> you too. And the devil laughs. All right, guys. Well, that's it for the episode. Make sure to check out Cremota Coffee, Cremota.com. We got a bunch of different flavors, K cups, uh, bagged coffee, whatever you want. We got different mugs, apparel. You name it. Also, make sure to check out our Patreon, patreoncom slash Zane and Heath. We post bonus. Uh, we post <laughs> bonus fucks. Uh, we post bonus episodes of the podcast where we're high throughout the entire thing. It's really fun to watch. We do early access to all the episodes. You get it a couple days early, ad free. Uh, and then we also post our vlogs on there early as well. We have a private Discord where we all hang out. And then we also um, do live Q and A's once a month. Or don't. You're just missing out. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next week. We love you so much. And say bye, guys. Practice. Say bye. Oh, oh I'm bye. practicing my pat my say toddlers bye. and tiaras exit. Seems culty. Oh. All right, guys. Bye bye. See you. All right, next bye. Week. I love you. Bye. Ciao.